So one of the best innovations that I've seen recently is the fact that we use a lot of anchors in concrete and generally we use a injectable resin. So the process used to be drill a hole, clear the hole, put in the right amount of resin and then once that's ready, you can mount in your stud, let it go off and then put your bolt on or your cleat on or whatever it is you're attaching to the concrete. So Sergio, let's look at this new packet resin, okay? So tell me a little bit about that. So this is a capsule that when combined with a naked screw, so you can use them naked like this, but if you combine it with this uh, mortar, this chemical piece, you have an hybrid hanger, right. which increases a lot the load capacity uh, of the uh, base plate that you are uh, fixing. And it has also one nice feature because it's a chemical anchor, but it's super fast cure. Is so it? you can really install it and go to the next one. You don't need to wait like the traditional mortars, some hours until you can come back to, to tighten the, the nuts. And with regards to these fixings, you were showing us yesterday about how your new device can scan a box and it knows exactly what the fixing is and it will adjust certain parameters like the torque, how much torque you need to attach the nut to make it meet like the criteria set out by engineers, for example. Yes, so Rob. Show us how that yeah. works. So Rob, that's a surprise I will bring you for later because okay. for this specific anchor, what we do is that we just go full torque. So Fine. I have here the torque, uh, the automatic torque control, yep. but I have it uh, off at the moment. On full power? On full power, I go for this type of anchors on these screws and then later I will show a different type of anchors where we need a specific torque and we will use the torque control Perfect. model. Okay. okay, let's make a hole. Now let's do it. So this specific anchor, actually you don't need to clean the hole. Well that's good as well. Yep. And now we have our base plate. Is there a right way round to do that or you know? This you just need to squeeze it like that. You put it through the hole and I can show you like that. Put it through the hole, done. Yep. And now you just have the screw. You want me to set without the base plate then? Yeah, just so we can see how it okay. drives in. So we're going to actually show you this fixing without a base plate purely so you can see how it would work. Done. See a little bit of mortar there Super outside. Super impressive, isn't it? And I can show you also what happens inside the hole. So the screw destroys the capsule, mixes the components. Amazing. Why is it all different colors? Uh, because it's different chemical components. Okay, fine. And um, you still have some time if you need to adjust the base plate because it's not fully cured yet. How long does it take? About uh, an hour. Oh, that's good. Depends on the temperature. Yeah, yeah, that's really impressive. Makes the job so much easier, the yeah. fact you haven't got to clean the hole as well. Yeah, yeah I like that. Thank so you. now we're going to take a look at this device on the back of this which is going to control the torque but it's a bit more intelligent than that because it's it's going to know through the fixing that you've chosen exactly how much power to deliver so let's have a look at that Sergio let's go so you know actually getting the studs in involves pretty much clouting them with a club hammer or something seriously heavy like that but you've got a new solution which is it's an SDS looking Konex shaped bit and show us how that's going to improve this job I've not seen this before I like that. That's really good. Everyone should have one of those, I think. And tell us now about what you're going to do. You've got your yeah. stud, you're ready to tighten things up. So this stud is ready to go. And I have here the box of the stud. So I simply use the intelligent torque control. I scan the box. It recognizes which anchor or stud, in this case, we are using. And then we just lock the settings. And we are now going to use the tool to torque it to perfection. Basically. So that now knows how much torque you're going to deliver? Yes, for this particular M16 size. Brilliant. So we just 
we turn this and we keep pushing it till we see the green light and uh, a sound. Green light, perfect torque. And this can be used not only for mechanical anchors, but also for traditional chemical anchors that use these type of rods. Yeah. So I have already some set here, they are cured. Yeah, and these are the anchors where you would administer a traditional chemical. Yes, resin. absolutely. With How, this battery dispenser. Yeah. And this dispenser is actually quite clever because along with, um, you know, when we use these, if you haven't got one of these intelligent dispensers, we just fill the hole up because we want to make sure. But this will also know how many milliliters of resin that you put in. So if it says for that fixing, you need 20, set this to 20. It's not, a, it's not like a normal one. You've got to, you know, do it yourself. Yeah. It's going to deliver the right amount of resin, which yeah, is pretty good. Absolutely. Isn't it? And I can show you how we do that in the next video. Brilliant. <laughs> so now we are going to set that um, anchor here. As I said, it's a mortar and we need to set this screw. So I'm going to again scan the box of these rods. It recognizes what rod it is. So that's these rods that we have been using here. And you can see also now how fast is and easy to set them all. Take to set it. <clears throat> Done. 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 And this is how fast you can be setting anchors exactly to the same torque, each one of them. No, it's incredible, isn't it? I mean, that just takes a lot of um, worry guessing, yeah. and anxiety and guessing out of the whole job. And quite often, if you're in construction and you're working alongside, you know, a, an engineer's specification, they will tell you how much to torque that up. And yeah. you, would, you would have used a torque wrench. And if you know how hard they are to use, let alone, you know, if you're doing 50 fixings, you know, a torque wrench like that, it's just so time consuming and old fashioned. And isn't there some somehow of recording the data as you go? Yes. So I can also show you something else. So if you remove the battery, you see here this little port that you can connect with your computer, with the software that we have, and you can export the data of each anchor that you have set. So if there is inspection, come and say, let me see how the last 100 anchors or 500 anchors that you have installed, if they are to the right torque. You export the data and you create that report. On top of that, every time we launch uh, new anchors that can be set with this intelligent model, you also use the same port and you update the, the model. Okay. This module goes with this tool, but also goes with, a, let me say, the, small, the, 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 the smallest brother, which is the SIW4. That it's was tiny, isn't it? Yeah, uh, that was the 6. This uh, is very nice for um, anchors from M8 to M12, mm. and this one from M12 to M24. Okay. So if you are working on the yeah. ceiling, tight spaces, it's yeah. easier to have a lighter and one. And if you didn't have that and you just had that, would that still use M8 uh, upwards? You, you can still go down to as small as that? No, because that tool will be too powerful for Fine. that type and we need to be very precise with the torque. We don't want to over torque because okay. then the anchor is yeah. not doing its job. That's impressive, isn't <laughs> it? I mean, I really do like technology. And I think that's the whole thing about this whole um, advance in power tools, it's not just the powers of motors, brushless this and all the rest of it. You've got now uh, some really sophisticated electronics, thanks to technology, that enable us to do things that we couldn't really do before uh, and save time and increase productivity. Absolutely, that's what we care and if you end up there, if you think about a base plate application, we bring you productivity in every step, yeah. from the drilling and cleaning, consuming less mortar and also what we just saw being faster on the torque. Well, I'm super impressed with that and I'm looking forward to being out on site trying out those new simple sleeves that you put in. I just think they're going to be really good. Do they have a shelf life? Uh, these, they have. They have. So it's, it's, it's about 12 months. 12 months, okay. And they come in boxes of 50 or so? Uh, depends on the size. It goes from 10 if they are big sizes yeah. or 50 if they are really small size oh, yeah. like I made. Yeah, brilliant. All right. Well, thanks, mate. Thanks, Rob. Cheers. <laughs> thanks. Cheers.